Hi everyone, check it out, I've got my snazzy waistcoat on, I'll give you a twirl, check that out, because today I'm going to do the most patriotic of all the theorems, I'm going to talk about the British flag theorem. There is such a thing, and the idea is you start with a rectangle, and somewhere you add a point. Connect that point to two opposite corners, and we'll call these diagonals A and B, and then connect the point to the other two opposite corners, and we'll call these diagonals C and D. Then the British flag theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared plus D squared. It's a kind of Pythagoras thing, you can use it to find distances. For example, imagine you're in a park or something like that, and we can say A, B, C and D are paths. Then if A was equal to 350 metres, and B was equal to 120 metres, C equals 296 metres, then we could calculate D. So if we're using the British flag theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared plus d squared, then we can work out that d squared is equal to 49,284, or in other words, d is equal to 222, 222 meters. Of course, this could be anything. This could be mobile phone towers or satellites, but why is it called the British flag theorem? Well, let's take a look at the proof. So here's that rectangle again, and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line and a vertical line through that point. So you can see the proof looks like a British flag. We're going to label the split horizontal with W and X and the split vertical line with Y and Z. Then good old Pythagoras will tell us that A squared equals W squared plus Z squared. B squared will equal X squared plus Y squared. C squared will equal W squared plus Y squared. And D squared will equal X squared plus Z squared. And from there, you can see that A squared plus B squared is equal to c squared plus d squared. So that's it really, it's just a simple thing, a kind of Pythagoras thing for finding distances. Although what's interesting about it is that it does work for any point. That means any point inside the rectangle or any point outside the rectangle as well, including if we put the point onto one of the corners. If we let d equals zero, then what we get is Pythagoras again. So Pythagoras is just a special case of the British flag theorem. And for that reason, let's salute the British flag theorem. And if you have been, thanks for watching.